Hey guys, Brendan New Productions here, and uh, welcome to my third Java tutorial. Now, in Java class today, uh, I actually got assigned a um, an assi or a project. It was kind of a startup project. Nobody really knew how to do it, uh, but I figured it out, or I think I figured it out at least. And uh, I actually have the coding all here on paper. And the project is to find the area of a triangle, uh, taking the user's input on the base and the height. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm actually going to create this application on video and explain what's going on while I'm creating it. So I started a new Java uh, project, and it's called Triangle Area, and I'm actually just going to create a new class to go with it, and uh, this is going to be Triangle Area class, and uh, then we're just going to go straight to the coding. and. Uh, see what we do. So the first thing that I actually need to do is when using Java um, or any application and you need to create something such as finding the area of a shape you need to get the user's input on what the base and height are. Now this is not built into the default Java class so you actually need to import a library which can be done with one line of code. Import and then the library you want to import which in this case is java.util dot scanner and uh, it's actually giving me a little warning here okay uh, it's just letting me know that it's never used which can be useful because if you import something that you never use you probably want to delete that so you don't use up memory so that we've actually got the correct libraries imported we can start right away with uh, the uh, coding so the first thing we need to do is actually create a scanner object and this object will uh, allow us to read what's incoming on our application. So the first thing we actually need to do is uh, declare it and this is going to be a static type which means that it cannot be instantialized uh, or otherwise it cannot be put into an object. So I'm going to static a scanner SC and this is going to be a new scanner of system oops, system dot in and then I just need to add a semicolon and we're all good so this just creates a new variable which is a scanner and it's called SC and um, it's a new scanner which uh, reads the input and now that we're done with that we can actually start the main part of our application which as you learn from tutorial one uh, is called main. So we're just going to start that with public static void main string args. And we just need to uh, open up those brackets and then we're good with that. And now we can start doing stuff. So the first thing we need to do is keep in mind when you're calculating the area of a triangle the formula is actually one half times base times height. So the first thing we need to do is actually declare variables to hold the base and height. Now there are several ways we can do go about doing this, but today I'm going to use the double type, which actually, um, look at that, it's even correcting my spelling, wow, which actually um, can handle decimals, whereas the integer type cannot. So I'm just going to type double, and then the name of the actual variable itself. So this one will be called base, then semicolon, and then I'm going to make a new one, height and then the semicolon. So now we've got our two variables created and uh, I'm just going to comment that. So now what we need to do is actually tell the system to ask the user for uh, the base and the height. So we can use the system.out.print um, code and we're actually going to print what is no let's do enter the tri <coughs> sorry triangles base and uh, that should do it so that'll actually print a uh, message on the screen that says enter the triangles base and then what we need to do is actually tell the scanner to read whatever is entered so we can do this by um, saying that base, our double, is actually going to equal 
the scanner sc dot and then next int or next in this case double and then we're just going to open the parentheses close the parentheses because there's no parameters we need in R, and then semicolon it so now we can say that the base has been declared and now we just need to do the same thing with the height And um, we're just going to set height equal to sc dot next double. Okay, so now we've got both of our variables. So now we've got both of our variables filled in, uh, base and height. Now we can actually get the area of the triangle, which we're actually trying to calculate in the first place. So we can do that by simply first creating a variable which is the pre-area, which will essentially be both of the um, things added together. So we're going to type in double, and I'm just going to call this one pre-area, and we're going to set this equal to base times height. Now in, uh, <coughs> sorry again, in Java and most other languages, there are operators that you can use, um, such as plus, minus, which are the essential plus and minus keys on the keyboard. And then there's multiply and divide. The multiply sign is actually the asterisk, asterisk, and the divide sign is the forward slash. So that makes it really easy to, um, to multiply and divide numbers in order to come to a result. So now we've got the pre-area, which is essentially both of the numbers multiplied together. So now we need to divide by 2 to get the final result. So we're actually going to create a new double called area, and this is just going to equal pre-area divided by 2. And um, there we go. Now all we need to do is actually display the message that um, contains the area so the user that typed in these dimensions actually knows what area they are running. Oh, sorry. What area their uh, triangle is. So I'm just going to type in the system.out.println this time and it's going to say the area of your triangle is colon and then space and then in Java just like in VB you can insert a plus sign to say that we want to add something else and what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert the um, double area to a string in order to uh, make it so it is easily displayed on the screen actually uh, I don't know if that's gonna work it's giving us an error let's see what it says Oh. I need to capitalize the S. Wait, it's giving us another error. Okay, so apparently you cannot convert from a double to a string. So we'll just leave it like this. So let's go over the code before we actually run it because I have no idea if this will work or not. Um, so what we've got here is we're actually importing the library that Java uses to read the user's input. And then we're starting the class that we need to actually initialize everything. Then we're creating a scanner. The scanner will use um, will use the system dot in property to read things. So that's just simply the user's input. And then we're creating the main sub or the main static void, which uh, users use or the program uses to actually run. Then we're declaring two variables as doubles here, base and height, and those will be used. And then we're uh, asking the system to print the line, enter the triangle's base. And then we're going to capture whatever the user enters into the base variable, uh, which can be used by the scanner dot next double. And um, then we're going to, or the base has been declared and filled in, just basic commenting. And then we're going to uh, type in enter the triangle's height. Oh, enter the triangle's height, and then uh, we're filling in the height variable for the next double that has been entered in. And then we're creating a double called pre area and we're immediately setting that equal to base times height and uh, then we're creating a double area and then we're just dividing the um, base times height by two to get the essential area of a triangle and then we're just printing the final area out on the screen 
So let's go ahead and test this out. Just going to press run up here. And then it's going to make us press OK. Oh, maybe not. So it says right here, enter the triangle's base in the console. So let's just say our triangle's base is 5. And now it says, enter the triangle's height. And we'll make this easy and type in 2. Now before it does any calculations, we need to make sure that we have this right. Now, 5 times 2 is 10, divided by 2 is 5. So the answer it should give us for the area of our triangle is 5. So let's go ahead and see. The area of your triangle is 5.0. That's very nice, very nice. And uh, once it's done with that, the uh, application is actually finished. So that's good. And now we can run it again and test it out with more complicated bases, like for example 1.25. And uh, the height can be 1.337. And uh, it'll actually calculate the area of the triangle. And uh, it will be very accurate. And it does this immediately. So this is how to use Java to create a um, triangle area calculator. Uh, please keep in mind that this was a school assignment. And I mainly created this to help friends. So uh, that was weird. So if... Uh, you don't like the way this tutorial was or anything like that please say so in the comments but otherwise i hope you found this tutorial helpful and um, thanks for watching please remember to rate comment subscribe and have a great day thank you